Whoa. Now, what'd you say after that? With an A. So. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's starting to get out of hand. This is really, the racism is really starting to get out of hand. People saying nigga that should not be saying nigga at all. You need to go ahead and cut that out. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all need to cut that out. You know what I'm saying? We take that to an offense so bad. Y'all act like it's another word. It's not just another word. Y'all know where that word came from, what it's really used for. So don't be saying any of it at any point in time. The shit honestly does get annoying. And if you get your ass rocked one day because you of another race that's not black and you get rocked by somebody that's black, you 100% deserve it. But, but there's songs, all right? Just because it's a song playing and your favorite, your favorite artist says it does not give you the ability to say it too. Because if he's saying it, he's black. You know what I'm saying? Black, black. If you are not black, you are not supposed to say it at all. And I'm low-key tired of the people. I be hearing people, like, I ain't gonna cap. Like, I think I was in King Supers, bro. And this, I mean, probably like 17-year-old skateboarder i mean he looked as as he would look you know what i'm saying and i hear him say it like to his friend as he's hitting his little chop the little nicotine thing and i'm just like i was gonna spaz and then say something but then i'm like what type of person does that make me to 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 get out of character from somebody i don't even know because he said something because he said that but then it's like they obviously got it from somebody else that they watch on the internet that probably says it there's a lot of celebrities tiktokers all that that have made multiple apology videos for saying it losing thousands and millions of followers which we're going to be doing a reaction to that soon but this video is different this is a different one the reason why i had to pull up this video because the, the video i was actually about to do was reacting to tiktokers of you know inward apologies this popped up white blm supporter uses nigga <laughs> And, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. And he's in, he's in, he's in Oregon. And he's at a pro, so a white man is at a BLM protest and says the word nigga. At that point, you're just there to be there. And I feel like, I feel like when they made this, when they made BLM, it really was another group just trying to make another group look bad and they can make other people feel bad for black people. Y'all do realize that, right? Because when the when BLM started, as a black person, I don't like the BLM, like BLM, Black Lives Matter, because then it makes us look like we have to be looked at a certain way, because there is a lot of stuff that is happening to us in this world. But making shit like this, having people go buy flags and shit like that, it makes a group. You got the people who are against it, and you got the people who are with it. And then as soon as you tell somebody with it, oh, I don't give, you know, all that BLM crap, that's the person that is low-key on the low, kind of racist. But then the person that is in that BLM, they feel like they're obligated that they have to care about Black Lives Matter because of all the stuff that happens. But it's because all the stuff that happens. In reality, they don't give a, they don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. I hate to say it, bro, but this world is hella racist as fuck. But a lot of the stuff comes from black culture. So we still know it's here. Music, hip-hop, rap, dancing came from us, brother. Came from us. Hair. Y'all girls, y'all, y'all girls getting them corn rolls and all that shit. You see a you know a black girl do it, getting the little edges and the little things like that. You got it from the black girls. A lot, you know, so you can believe it or not. A lot of the cultures, a lot of the stuff that's in this world right now, culturized music, the way people dance hair when people talk comes from black people for surely for surely and they taking the sauce and they trying to run with it but we're not letting them do that because they ain't doing it right anyway you know what i'm saying my bad i had to give y'all a little speech real quick when we got into this because this shit low-key i'm actually glad to be black i actually am because then when i'm able to do something make something happen i'm, I'm a black man that's did it you know what i'm saying not just you, you, you see what I'm saying, bro. You see what I'm saying. So we're going to get into this. We're going to tune into this because this is crazy. White BLM supporter, usually the N-word, and then educated by black, by, by black people, Portland, Oregon protests. July 29th of 2022, the federal courthouse. They're in front of the federal courthouse. 
is here. If we go, if we leave here, it's because we're pursuing somebody that committed a crime too Why are you on guys the federal property. To this guy, there's nothing he could say or do short of quitting his job that means anything. None of this goes anywhere or means anything. So, why, like, where did you even come from? What made you come over there and even say something anyway in the first place? Like, it's like it's shit like this. It's just like I don't mean like people feel like they have a spot in the in this world, like an authority in this world because of what color they are. At the end of the day, we, are, we all come out the same way. We're all born the same way. You can get your ass beat the same way. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they don't understand that, but it's a fact. The Portland police. Please. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Because I don't have you're any... You're a fucking cop, have, dude. Put down, you're, a work, you're a class traitor. You're working class. But can't you we have... And he's saying that to a black cop with a BLM sign. Like, this don't make no sense. Like, I feel like this guy's type of guy who was paid to be there to troll and do shit like this. Because at first, it's, like, it's different if the cop was doing some extra shit. Bro is standing behind a fence having a normal, civilized conversation. Why are you even on... Bro, it's weird. Probably make 70 opinion. grand a year you just like we do. Opinion, right? and I oh, wait, wait, he said like, you probably make $70,000 a year just like we do. Why are you... Okay, so then you just contradicted yourself. Hella, talk about, oh, class, work, trader, worker, whatever. So that means if you're a worker as well, still working. I don't get how like that made no. You just made yourself look hella stupid. And yet, and yet you're policing us. You can have your point. Blah 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 blah. And, he, and the cops not even. I'm not even saying like, look. When it comes to feds, I hate them. Don't get me wrong. I hate cops. It's the bottom of my heart. You know what I'm saying? Because cops be thinking that they have a full. Those are the people that be feeling like they have a goddamn authority because they're cops and they have a little badge they can hide behind. But when bro is just chilling here, wasn't even saying nothing. You know, you know, say so he wasn't even doing nothing for real. Dude, you guys are in the wrong right now. I've been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been called an Uncle Tom. I've been, I've been called Turncoat. It is what it is. It's, 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 it was wrong. And do something. Whoa! What did he just say, bro? With the BLM sign in his hand. Does he think because he's with the Black Lives Matter he can say that? I'm trying to tell you, bro, this Black Lives, the BLM, they pe the people who made this, they had something, they had an agenda behind this shit. They wanted people to also be even more hated or think if they're in that group, they have a little bit more on the black side. Bro, if you're not black, just stay up. You know what I'm saying? You're not one of us. You know, you're not. You're, you're your race. We're our race. You feel what I'm saying? You know, we don't, we don't got time. For guys like this trying to stand up and making us look even more worse. But it looks, for him, it looks bad. And his race, it looks bad. And for the people who think that they're part of the BLM, it looks bad. Like, look at this shit. What did you just say? What'd you say to him? I said to do something. No, what'd you say after that? Nigga, with an A. So. <laughs> with an A. Nigga, what a A. It don't matter, A, because you, oh my God, this shit actually just makes me mad. Because there are people around this world who think that that is okay, that can say that. But you notice how he covered his face when he said it. He came back up and covered his face. I'm telling you, I, I look at bro over here. I'm telling I feel like they had this shit set up. I'm telling you, someone probably paid his ass to go out there and say this shit. You notice how when he said it, he kind of was hesitant to say it. Look, listen. What'd you say to him? I said to do something. No, what'd you say after that? Nigga, with an A. So, <laughs> with an A. So you're here for Black Lives Matters, but you're using the N-word. What the fuck are you here for? No, I'm just curious. Motherfucker. You, where'd I'm you just curious. I'm just curious. You're using the N-word, but you're here for Black Lives Matter. You, you, you really honestly live in America in 2020, <laughs> Unbelievable. but you don't know the difference between a hard E-R on the end of the N-word and an A. So you're saying... This is actually like like getting under my skin i'm like the fact that he is really trying to explain himself with the er and the a regardless but you know as i always notice too for the black lives matter this is how you know where the black folks at for the BLM, because we know, we know what we're really doing. The people that made this BLM, it was a group, just like the LGBTQ, it's a group to be like either hated on or gone against. That's why you see the pride flags, you see the BLM. It's because normally 
no one really actually cares like about what the next person does right but when you put it into their face where they have to care and have to have an opinion and have to choose a side then that's when it gets bad because whatever side someone chooses well they have a reason why they're going to defend it right i'll be speaking facts on god look so that's why i feel like all this blm and the lgb all these groups that they make and they put out for people and they try to get people on their side by supporting all they're really doing is making it bad for everybody else because then they're looked at as somebody else as someone that's not normal you know what i'm saying and that's why people right through why people put pride flags wherever they can on anything that they own so they let people know now there are people that feel some type of way about it they're gonna feel some type of way about it so it causes this world doesn't want people to come together this world wants everyone to be split apart and putting putting little groups like you know blm and the lg that all that does all that does is make people more separated because if, if this person doesn't like the blm and this person's in blm well that person now has a reason not to like that person they don't even know that person that's how i tell y'all bro that's how they that's how they get everybody separated and not everybody on the same page oh god and white people can say that wait i just did <laughs> oh to this guy right here interesting and you know which white guy specifically the one who's been standing over there for hours oh. holding a black lives matter sign so that on a cardboard like on a on a cardboard that only like you could I, I swear to god i feel like this dude was sent out here to do this i hate to say it but i feel like this dude was sent out here to do this shit i, I really do i really do that means you, you can goofy. say whatever Means whatever you, you say, whatever you want. Trump supporting fool. Hey, you're the one holding the BLM sign and using the N word. With, Wrap that together. Sir, have you never listened to rap music? I told y'all. Now you not ever listen to rap music. The music. Okay, so they hear it in a song and they think that because they hear it in a song that they can say it. No, you can't. You cannot. You cannot. I told y'all. I said at the beginning of this shit, bruh. Now, a lot of y'all might be like, a lot of y'all might say, oh, well, then that's black people's fault for saying, well, because we can say that. You know what I'm saying? Joe, just because we can say it, don't mean gives you the ability to say that. Like I said, everything is taken. Have y'all watched Elvis? Have y'all watched Elvis? Where did he get, where did he get that, uh, if you watch the movie, where does he go to get his, where he, where he got all his shit from? All his, his culture and all that? Black folks, bro. Black people, bro. We put people on, bro. And we get treated the worst. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. We really do. We really do. Oh, God. There's probably, I would guess that there are 320 million people in the United States. Yeah. Probably 319 million of them have heard rap music at some point. Have you not? So that means that we can say have whatever we hear. Have you heard rap music? That means that we can have say whatever we hear. Have you ever heard it in your life? That means that we can say whatever so we hear. So have you heard rap music? So then you know the difference between an A on the end of that word and an ER. I'd love to. That doesn't make, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This dude, like, I want to fade, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck. He holding a BL. I want to fade, bro. Like, I want to just give him what's one. Mm, it's real quick, real quick. PR is that. what people like you say. Oh, people really? Like you say stuff like that. Yeah, you have no you idea what I said. Or you're in a fact, liberal. In fact, you're I, over here talking to a cop. Fuck you and everything you in stand fact, for. In fact, I'm the one who had a you problem with you fuck. saying it. You goofy. Oh, fuck. That shows you fucking dumbass. That shows or Trump supporter, whatever the. <laughs> You are. Oh, what did you say? The N word with an A on the end. Have you honestly never heard that? You've never listened to rap music. Just very You've never curious. Hung out with black people. Just very curious. Never heard out with black people. Okay. It does not mean you get to say it. So you really don't have a point here. You're just running your fucking mouth. You stupid fucking white guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say, but you notice with the Black Lives Matter, you don't see no black people out there. Black Lives Matter were meant for the people who want to feel sorry for black people. So this is them showing their support by being out there holding up a sign that says Black Lives Matter. And there's people out there who hate who literally could go around hate seeing that makes him hate a certain group. Now, bro pulled up, bro pulled up, giving him the sauce.
There you go. There you go. I don't say that any time I did that because. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. This shit is actually making me mad, bro. Facts over feelings, guys. Facts over feelings. How are you going to sit there and say you're for Black Lives Matter and you're dropping the N-word? I don't get that. Now, ooh, man, man, man. Now, the reason why I really can't get mad because regardless, people are going to say what they want. You can't really stop somebody from really kind of like saying anything. There's someone right now, someone just said it. Someone just said it. White person just said it. A non-black person just said it. You know what I'm saying? Right now. Another time. They said it again. And a reason why I can, I can, okay, now I see what he's saying. You know, have you not ever heard of rap music? But just because you hear it from somebody else don't mean you can say it. And the person that was saying it in the song, rap music, was black. So it does not mean you get to say that. This year, right, this is a prime example. I swear to God, I feel like bro was sent out here. I'm not even going to say bro. Dude out here was sent to do this. Like I said, if you look at the actual Black Lives Matter and where it's held in the protest, they don't really give, they don't really care. All this Black Lives Matter stuff right here was to make people feel obligated to feel sorry to another, towards another race. That's why it's like when you see someone pass and you see anyone posting like rip, 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 if you know that person, you're obligated or you feel some type of way to say like RIP or on your story or something like that to let other people know that you feel a certain way, but deep down inside, you don't give a fuck at all. That's a Fendi, bro. Y'all gotta start realizing what y'all are really, when you do stuff, do you really mean it? Is there a real meaning or do you just feel obligated because you see everybody else doing it? Just like when Drake drops that album, everybody shares it his, on their story. So you feel like you have to share it so you can be in that group that knows Drake and listens to Drake and you're caught up to speed. Don't let this shit fool you, bro. Don't let none of this shit in this world fool you. Be you. Be the person that you are supposed to be. Find a purpose and get on your shit. Don't let shit like this. Don't be one of these people, bro. That feel like they're obligated to be out there just because it's out there now. That's why I don't even listen to the news. There's so much bullshit on the news. It's like, who do you even believe? Why is there so many different stations, so many different news channels, and each one has a different way of explaining the news to somebody? And that's why people have favorite news channels. Come on, bro. Y'all got to be smarter than that, man.